What's up everybody, Ron Blue back again with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be doing a guitar lesson of John Redcorn by Sir. A really, really dope um, song. And it's going to introduce all the beginners to some R&B chords that you may not be uh, used to. And um, I'm going to show you step by step on how I approach it. And again, um, just as a disclaimer, I don't want to. I don't want you guys to take everything or my approach as law, because it's um, music theory mixed in there, but also um, just a different way that I develop um, approaching songs. So if it helps you, great. If it doesn't, if it, if it confuses you guys then just discard it, just learn the chords because I teach that in this video as well. So let's just jump right in because I know we got a lot to uh, cover. Just to give you a little bit more clarification what I mean by it only being four chords but six positions, um, let, me, let, me, let me explain to you guys here. So, and I'm gonna go over each chord for you guys as well, um, but Let's just count how many chords is in this actual song. So it's, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's it. But as you can hear, um, it's the song is incomplete. So all you're doing is learning four chords. Once you have these four chords learned, all you have to do is go right back up the uh, fretboard with chords that I'm going to explain to you guys. So let's speed it up for reference so you can get the idea of the actual song. So again, when we when we're at the four chord, the fourth chord, then you have to complete it five, six. So that's what I mean when I say like the only four chords you have to learn are those, and then once you learn those, you're just going back up to the one. And, um, and I don't want to confuse you because I'm not using theory. It's just what helps me. And uh, so let's break down the actual chords itself. All right, guys. So the first chord is the F sharp minor seven. So what I do is I use my index finger, go all the way up to the ninth fret. And from the fifth string all the way down to the first. Bar that. Then what I do after that is use my middle finger and put it on the 10th fret of the second string. And then I use my uh, ring finger to put that on the fourth string of the 11th fret. So you have that F minor seven. So that's that. Then from there, you go up to the next uh, chord, which will be an E major seven. Again, as you guys know in my other videos, this is probably one of the easier bar chords because you're using uh, all three fingers for kind of support, especially if you're a beginner. So, but this is how I kind of show you guys so you can see exactly what I'm pressing down on. So what you're gonna do is bar the seventh fret from the fifth string all the way down to the one first string then you're going to use your index finger to lay on the ninth fret uh from the fourth string all the way down to the two and that gives it to the second string i'm sorry and so uh that gives that e major i typically do like this just to give it a little bit more pressure on, on my index. So what we have now is F sharp minor seven. 
then we have a D major seven. Now with this chord, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bar from the fifth fret, fifth string down to the first string. You're gonna use your uh, ring finger and put that on the seventh fret of the uh, fourth string. You're gonna put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the third string. Uh, and then you're gonna put your pinky on the seventh fret of the second string. So you have this. So we have F sharp minor seven, E major, and D major seven. And then again, we have a minor seven, and uh, that's gonna be a C sharp minor seven. And that's gonna be the same position shape again so that like I was telling you guys earlier is going to be the same position shape as the F minor 7 you just bring it all the way up to uh, your index finger barring the uh, fourth fret of the uh, fifth string all the way down same position as up here guys and those are the only chords you have to learn after that, it just becomes uh, the transition of the chords and um, also remembering the chords to hit after after this. So that's this is it here. So. Then we back to the E major. Then back to the uh, F sharp minor seven. So I hope I didn't confuse you guys again. Um, it's it's a little bit of theory mixed in with what helped me um, learn the guitar. So when I refer to um, six, uh, six positions, I'm only talking about the shapes of the chords. Once you learn all four chords, it's just descending back down to that one. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. More videos are coming soon. If you guys have any questions about exactly what I mean, um, I can always clarify in the comment section. Um, but until next time, peace.